everyone. I'm Cameron Banga, Marketing Director at CollegeCap.com, and this is episode 5 of our podcast series, and I'm tonight showing off my new iPad, giving an inside look on different things I think from a developer, designer perspective on the new device. Um, in earlier episodes, I looked over iPhone applications and how they render themselves on the new iPad. I looked at iBooks as well as just gave general impressions of the iPad. But now I want to show you my baby. I want to show you the application we worked on for launch, and that's called Tap Blaster HD show you the loading screen and then the home screen there. Um, the concept of the game was to make it real simple. We wanted to have something, you know, a lot of people are going to be holding this device for the first time today, so what we wanted to do is have something that felt classic. We were going for retro gameplay. I think you'll see that once you get the game loaded up and play it. It's, it's real simple. It's real classic. It feels like something you would have played 20 years ago, but it feels brand new and fresh on this device. Again, it's real. You'll see it and be like, oh, well, that's really simple, but it's really fun because it's something that you could never do before. You know, we, we have it loaded on computers and stuff like that, and you've, you've probably played games similar, but you've never played it like this because you've never actually got to feel and interact with the game. And it's something we couldn't do on the iPhone or iPod Touch necessarily because the screen's not big enough. So I'll get it loaded here, and basically the premise here, this is single player mode, is to defend your home planet like this, holding the pet, we call it the defense ship, it's also like a paddle or something like that. And then you're also going to tap it between these two lines, which we call the tap zone, to fire projectiles or missiles at your opponent's planet. So I'm going to get going real here real quick. I'm going to play against the computer. However, I am playing upside down, so I probably won't be very good. And then I'm going to fire off here. I can, I can shoot up to three projectiles at a time. And basically, I'm trying to be the first person to five points. So I'm going to load it here like that, try to switch it up. And we have an, you know, the computer here, so I won this level. And I'll go on to level two. We wanted to make it something that could be really classic in feeling. So we threw in like many classic games it's an endless single player mode there's no beating this game you could play for hours and hours and if you get really good you know you'll just keep going on to the more difficult computer opponents and stuff like that it never ends so we want to make it feel like that in that respect it's real simple again you move back and forth you're trying to score five points you can only shoot three missiles at a time one of the other things we did that was really cool here go button real quick is we put in a multiplayer mode so again, we knew that this would be people's first time, you know, the first couple of days actually holding an iPad. So we wanted something they could show off to a friend because you're going to you show it off to everyone you know. They're going to be like, well, let me play. Well, let's play against each other and have something on the device, two-player. Again, gameplay you've never been able to experience on any other device because you, you just frankly can't touch and feel a game and put it on a table. Uh, one of the good things about the iPad is it has a good amount of heft in it. I talked about that in my initial um, reactions. Is it, it feels heavy. We had it put on a table. It doesn't fling around. It stays pretty stable, especially if in a case or something like that. It really holds itself well. Um, you can hold it in your hand still, too. It's light, so you can hold it and then still play. Um, so, yeah, two-player mode is meant to be played. Again, you just put it on a table, something like that, and then I can control one planet. My friend can control another planet, and we shoot and try to attack the other person's planet. It's real easy, real quick. Again, it's only to five, so it kind of plays real quickly. Games go real fast. You can play through five or ten games in a couple of minutes. And again, we can switch back to single player mode. It's real quick, back and forth. Tutorial shows up every time in case you just hand it off to a friend and it's their first time playing. So yeah, this is Tap Blaster HD for the iPad. This is our initial release. We have updates planned. We're hoping to get some power-ups and cool games, secrets, and stuff like that in there as well. So again, classic gameplay. It feels like something you've played your entire life, but due to the touch controls and just the responsiveness of the iPad, it's a brand new experience. So again... 99 cents in the App Store right now. Um, we're doing a launch special of 99 cents, so pick it up. Again, it's, it's going to go quick. Um, and then starting on the 14th, we're going to raise the price and it will not be available at that sale launch price anymore. So pick it up. It's a great two-player game. It's single-player. You'll keep yourself entertained for quite a while fighting against the computer. I'm going to keep myself entertained for a real long time if I don't actually shoot and try to win and just defend. But again, Simple classic gameplay. It'll be a fun experience. It's going to be one of those things we, we kind of call it the Nintendo Wii experience where you just pick it up and it's something that you've played your whole life, but it feels brand new and it feels exciting. And it definitely shows off the new hardware. So check it out. It's called Tap Blaster HD. You can check out our website. It's just tapblaster.com or search us in the app store as Tap Blaster HD. Thanks a bunch, guys. Thanks for checking us out. I'll talk to you later.